We've got Ian Sully out in Guernsey, 3 0 win. Did you think that was going to be the case when you flew out here this <laughs> afternoon? Uh, no, I think, I think we, it wasn't the greatest of games, if we're honest. Um, it's very, very windy. Obviously, the boys have travelled today. You, know, you sort of never know really you know, what's going to turn up. But um, yeah, we, we moved the side around a little bit, uh, made some, a lot of changes during the game as well. But I thought we were quite comfortable in the end. I don't think Sonny really had too much to do. Uh, and we looked dangerous going forward. So um, no, there's a real, real good buzz in the change room. The boys are believing now. You know, and uh, you know, it's things are starting to, to pay off. You know, it's the third clean sheet we've had. Uh, we've had a tough ten days as well, physically, and obviously we've got a big game Saturday. So, uh, you know, second half we was able to to move players around and give uh, some players a bit of a rest. Quite an interesting decision to put Nairon Butler at left back. What was your thinking behind that? To give Cookie a game or? Just to uh, mess the heads up at Dartford that we're probably watching tonight. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, Kel Kelvin uh, isn't 100% fit, but he's, he, he played the last 20 minutes and done well. Obviously, Amwar had a sore toe, so obviously, Amwar's not a natural left back anyway, but he's been brilliant the last two games. Uh, but no, Niren can, can play anywhere across the back line. He's played right back before, centre half. Um, but I thought, no, it was just, uh, we wasn't looking for him to get forward too much. Uh, that was up to Jude on the other side to go forward. Um, and we slide into a back three anyway. So, um, yeah, we, we, we changed it a couple of times mid game but um, yeah I thought he'd done very very well I think first half he burst forward a few times which you know he's got a lot of pace he's very very strong uh, and I thought he played well today probably one of our better players so um, yeah we just said afterwards you know we've got a, a good squad you know it's not a massive squad but we've got players that will come on and and when we bring substitutions on it doesn't weaken the side at all you know they're all capable of uh, getting getting the job over the line but uh, we're really really pleased because it's never an easy place to come, Guernsey. You know, it's a, it's a long trip over. Um, conditions are quite tough with the wind, and the grass is very, very long here as well. Um, but I thought we adapted well, and uh, we took the chances at the right times. Must be pleasing to have such a strong um, bench to bring on. I mean, Marco Hay came on and created all sorts of problems, and you've got Anya Cisse and Calvin coming back. So all good problems. Big headache to pick the side for, for Dartford. Um, your thoughts ahead of Dartford, the game on Saturday. Obviously, a tough task for us to go there and try and win the game. Thoughts ahead of that game? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. You know, it's uh, it's almost a one-off game for us. We'll be the underdogs, that's for sure. You know, Dartford will be a good strike, good side. It's a very nice ground and it's well supported club as well. So it'll be a good atmosphere there. But I think it'd be a good. You know, at the moment we're on a good run. We've not conceded in three games, and um, yeah, we we've got the, the poke up front as well to score goals. So we definitely won't go there. Um, being afraid, you know, the lads are very, very positive. There's a real good buzz now around the change room. You know, it's, it's taken a little bit of time to get together, but you know, the boys are starting to get closer and closer. And I think little trips like this brings the squad together as well. Especially, you know, winning is a is a habit. You know, and I think uh, you know, now we're in that position where the, the boys expect themselves to win games. They ex they expect everyone to put in a shift. Um, and like I say, we, if, as long as we're not, uh, yeah, as long as we don't concede um, and, and we fight and we, we work hard, we've got players on the team that can score goals out of nothing. So, yeah, the squad is good uh, and we're happy where it is. Um, yeah, we're always looking to get stronger, but um, as, as it stands at the moment, we're really, really pleased with who we got in. Did I hear it right? The bar's open at the hotel when we get back there? It, it better be open, yeah. I think the boys are looking for a, <laughs> forward to a few beers tonight and they said it's on the chairman, I think, tonight, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last but not least, I want to put a shout out to all our supporters. Hopefully you enjoyed the coverage that we've done. Nearly 2,000 people tuning in. Plenty of um, Leverage supporters, I suspect, but I suspect also the Dartford management. I'm glad you ain't put out the right team we're going to be playing Saturday. But anyway, mind games in the lane. They're going to turn the lights off. Thank you, everyone. See you at Dartford on Saturday. Good night.